Our project is the minibus seat reserving system. We do this project because we find that in reality, there's many minibuses. They will get their vacancy. They will get full when they are at the terminal, and they and passengers in the middle and the middle stop cannot get on the minibus. So we want to develop a system that can facilitate information exchange between between passengers and drivers, so that will bring convenience to passengers and bring profit for the business parties. Our system mainly consists of four entities, namely the passengers, the drivers, the administrators, and the servers. So, and we have a prepared a demo to show the main function of our system and its highly automated features. So, let's begin. Now, Ashuma bus is on the way to the station two, and which is shoulder also shoulder in the driver apps. And now two passenger is in the station two and want to book a seat. The, and one station one one passenger will use phone booking service. And other and other passenger will use will use our apps to book a seat. Now we will demonstrate the phone booking service first. At the beginning, the passenger first need to make a phone call to administrator, and administrator will collect all the information needed re used to reserve a seat and input all the information to the admin page. First, the the administrator will ask for the phone number, the web passenger one, select the way. Select the station where the passenger will get on the bus in. Select our bus. And you can see that in the driver apps also update this booking information by increase the total booked passenger by once. And now we will demonstrate the S booking. First we need to press reserve button and then approach the NFC tag. And then select the wood. And then select our bus. And you also, you also can see that the booking is now success. And the driver apps auto also updated this booking information. Now we will we we will demonstrate the bus arriving and leaving. And before that, because uh, we have some limitation limitation because we can't demonstrate the bus movement. Now, so we will simulate it by reversing the case, not the bus moving to the station, but the station moved to our, to our to the bus. So we should change it to the admin page and change the coordinate to our current coordinate. And anyway, you can see that the page in the driver apps is automatically go to the station page. And also in when the when the bus is arrived at the station, we also have a passenger counting system to count the passenger leave or board the bus. But if it's used up, this is uh, made up by two infrared sensor an infrared sensor module, a microprocessor, and also a Bluetooth module. And it will sense that when, when a passenger leaving the bus, it will, the sensor may receive a signal A, sensor A, sensor B, and this can perform a leaf, a leaf move movement. And if it, the sensor sends B, A, it can perform a get on movement. And also when the when the apps receive the signal from this system, the vacancy of the apps will increase or decrease depends of depends on the movement. And now the bus can leave from the station. Also, it can be simulated by editing the stage the station coordinate far away from our current location. So now we change the coordinate. And then looking on the driver S, it 
it is automa automatically changed to the on the way page. And also, the leave station is now changed to to two. They leave that station to. Apart from that, we would like to highlight some other functions, like in the admin page, it can it can handle the phone booking. It can also hand it can also handle handle the grid management, just like adding and editing the current data, which includes the stops, the routes, drivers, and bus details. And apart from that, for passengers, they can use the search function to search for a route by its route number. It can show the route details, and passengers can further click on it to view more bus detail and stop detail. And we employed the Google Map to show the bus stop location so that it is easier for users to find the stop with reference to the surroundings so that if they, are, if they are not familiar with that station, they can also find a place. So that's all for our demo. Thank you.